Move over a little bit. I feel like you're crowding me. There, there you go. That's perfect. This is great. Welcome back to 1090. I am Andy. This is Todd coming at you with another fantastic whiskey review. This time, new. something old is becoming something new again, which is kind of cool. Fortuna Whiskey. This is a very old distillery out of Kentucky that opened in the 1800s and shut its doors almost 50 years ago in the 1960s and is being brought back by the good people at Rare Character, which yeah, is kind of cool. That's exciting. Yeah, so we have batch one. You just got this in, Todd. Literally today. So today. we have not even popped, we haven't popped this open yet. I want to see you do it, Andy. Well, I, I can do that. What we do know, though, is this is kind of an homage back to yes. they did. They were very meticulous in trying to recreate um, the flavor profile from back away since it its peak, and I think it was in late 1800s. Oh, which was a kind long of really cool. Time ago. They had some vintage bottles. They did their best to, to do some blending to kind of make this kind of Reminds fruition. me of the Maryland Heritage right? Where it really trying, does. Yeah. It's, really, it's really kind of neat. So I love seeing some of these old yeah. things become new again, which is kind of fun. So yeah, we're going to pop this open, knowing very little about it other than it's batch one. It's exciting. We're happy to try it. And, uh, right, and it's coming in at what? Uh, 102 proof. So, so rare character has a plan in this. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be good. That's my hope. Right, here okay. we go. Ready? Come on. Good one. Oh. Canada. Canada. It's not a Manitoba, mm -hmm. is it? Winnipeg. Winnipeg. See, Manitoba is bad. Okay. All right, so Andy, for this, you know, I, I don't know what to expect. I really don't. I don't either, which is cool. This is, this is, we're going to be blind, honestly. It, it, um, what I like about this is age for a minimum of six years, well, uh, I think five, ooh, five whiskeys they blended here. Very um, floral on the this. nose. Citrusy and floral on the nose. What do you get? I'm let that kind of just. Yeah, I mean, we literally just popped. It. Yeah, open so, it for a second. That's the thing here. Uh, this is a true first pour review, so to speak. What do you got? Yeah, I actually get a little bit of floral, but a lot of citrus there. Yeah, some honey notes on this. Honey. Maybe some orange-ish kind of notes. Um, yeah, citrus. Big. This time. leans heavier on kind of those, Ooh. like you said, like those those floral kind of. Yep. Light notes. This doesn't yeah, have is. a lot of those super sweet saccharine notes. Nor does no. it have a lot of those like. Peppery nose. I don't mind it. No, not bad. It's a nice nose. It's pleasant. Very nice. All right. Cheers. All right. Good. That's not bad at all. Ooh. All right. So, um, nice finish on that. Yeah. For 102 Peru. Drinks big. It does. Drinks big. It's, vi it's super um, viscous. Super viscous, but but not. You don't get a huge bite off of that, which I kind of I kind of like because uh, it doesn't scream it, it to me young whiskey. Oily? I think it's yeah, got a, it's a nice spot. Is there an age statement on this? We don't know. It's over six years. It's over. Um, six years. Okay. One more time. Let's go in again. Mm -hmm. Almost like a caramel tobacco too. On it's that. almost like an orange cola. Oh, oh on that. Mm. You know, kind of like a. Oh. Yeah. Do you, do you get do you get that? The orange cola. Kinda, now that you said it, but I, I just came you know, there was a, a weird because contrast. it's or yeah. like an orange cream school, something like that. It's it's mm. very it's got this this sweetness that's not coyly sweet. No. But Ooh, I think those citrusy like orange notes kind of come through. This is really cool. And wow. it's different. This is a different kind of tasting let's whiskey just, than I think let, I'm let, used to. Let's I think this gets better as it opens up by the way. It might. But, but right now out of the gates, this is this is nice. Alright, so Andy, I'm interested. So at 85 this is we bought this for $85 on CMS. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we do a pass purchase pour. How would you say that at eighty-five dollars? What would this be? I, I think whiskey's in that category where, I like that. where you've got to really mm. you're fighting for attention Orange at that cream point. Orange is good. Okay, but the flavor profile is That's just good. unique enough to pique my interest yeah. and say maybe worth it. Yeah. Combine that with the story of bringing back an old distillery, which That's I think it. is kind of cool. I agree. You can read the backs where, but it's really kind of mm. neat to see all the people involved in kind of revitalizing Fortuna. Mm. And it's the first batch. Yeah, batch So one. you put all those things together, I'm tempted to say, yeah, this is probably a, a purchase for me for, That's a purchase for that alone. I'm glad I because got it. Because at the end of the day, Ooh. It's, a, it's a solid whiskey. I think um, it's a tobacco too on that. There's a lot of things. Yeah, I think this is this is going to open up. It's going to get better. It drinks bigger than 102 proof. Absolutely. I mean, nice Kentucky how the legs are, are it's fantastic It's super on this. viscous. I love that. In but the, the nose is soft and approachable. It is. The, 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 mm. the palate is, is, like I said, it, it, it screams like the yeah. notes of orange and kind of like vanilla cream and stuff like that. This is a really, this is a 
it's a pretty poor. So if really you've is. had this, let us know in the comments below. We'd love Ooh. to see other people. If you've not, I, I'd seek it out. Uh, I know Sealbacks has it. Actually, as of this, yeah, go it, find it's still it. available. It's on Sealbacks for 85 bucks. I like it. I might go get one. <laughs> I am going to get one. Yeah, stop drinking mine. Or I'll take yours. No, you will not. No, we'll see. Yeah, that's anyway. Right. If you like what you see from 21090, please hit that subscribe button, click that little bell in the corner. It's going to let you know every time we got a new video coming out. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Untapped, and we go live every Tuesday night with Lamb and Drams. All things beer, bourbon, and rock and roll. We have on distilleries, breweries. Uh, we do some album battles, mm -hmm. some great giveaways. Speaking of which, we want to thank all of our YouTube, especially our Patreon, Patreon. members. Growing like crazy. Come join the fun there because we have a great time. Beer, bourbon, rock and roll. Yeah, good stuff. Um, I actually don't have enough. The, Are you kidding me? After the exit. You drinking all my whiskey. I try to. That's funny. I, I come over to the bar and drink all my whiskey. Well. well I, I did drink a lot of your whiskey for a lot of years. So. Fair That's play. true. It all comes full circle. But, in the words of the legendary Joe Elliott, until next time. And there will be a next time. Cheers. Cheers. Go buy this. Yeah. Fortuna. Mm-hmm. Costanza. <laughs> Costanza.